I wanted to know more about natural wine. So the next morning I got up early and headed upstate with my driver Lavar. And like me, he loves his New York City rap. Oh, listen. What hip hop would be like the theme song now for this drive? You, you ever heard of Griselda? No. You never heard of West Side Gun, Conway the Machine, Benny the Butcher? Yeah. Obviously, Lavar's hip hop knowledge is much better than mine coming from NYC. But anyway, some new tracks to add to my playlist. Hello. We're on the way to Wild Ark Farm to meet Todd. He's passionate about wine, and after he and his wife had enough of city life, they bought this place a few hours drive away to follow their dream. Farming in a sustainable way, creating phenomenal natural wines, living the good life. Yo, Todd! What's going on? Great to see you. Welcome. He's let me come over to sample the wine and to say thanks, I'm gonna cook some local pork for him using the vine cuttings for a next level flavor. Something I've been itching to do for ages. All right, so this is our little one acre vineyard. Um, we've got some stuff on this side that'll be producing fruit for the first time this year. This is oh, wow. Itasca, it's a white hybrid grape. Um, then we've got some more hybrids in the back. And then this little block here is some Pinot Noir that I'm struggling to keep alive with our organic growing methods here. We're doing our best trying to keep everything alive and healthy without using any synthetic chemicals. Yeah, man, I love what you're doing. Okay, time to try the wine. I would love that shed in my back garden. Todd is a wizard at making wine and he's picked three of his favorites for us to taste. But we'll start with this lemon of pink, um, which is kind of a piquette. Piquette doesn't have much alcohol in it. It's about 5% ABV. Farmers and grape pickers in France used to drink this during the day to stop themselves getting too drunk, apparently. Low alcohol, oh. sparkling. That lemon candy. Next up, a mix of cider and wine. The sweet hat that tastes like Hawaiian punch. Fruit, fruit punch, right? Very fruity, very fruity. And last, the Amorici Field Blend, a mix of white and red grapes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Mm. So, Todd, how did you get into making wine? Uh, I was a wine consumer for a long time. I was into wine, and when we decided to leave the city, we thought, like, let's see if we can afford to buy some place with some land. And we got up here, we bought a few grapes the first year, and made, you know, a barrel of wine. And people bought it and enjoyed it. And we're like, okay, let's make a little more wine next year. And then every year since then, basically, we've just snowballing, been snowballing. making a little more wine and selling it, yeah. It's um, beautiful. Yeah, and so <laughs> I found myself unemployed other than as a farmer. So now I have to make wine or else I can't pay my mortgage. Wow, I love it. I'm so glad that you decided to make wine. Thank you, yeah, me too. <laughs> Do you know what? I'd have been happy enough in that shed all day long, but it was time for me to keep my end of the bargain and cook up Todd some special pork chops. These are the best quality local Tamworth tomahawk chops. They're massive, so plenty of oil and sea salt, and I'm rendering the fat in a really hot skillet. They're a minute each side before basting them with butter, rosemary, and thyme. I'll be smoking these, so I transfer them to the grill, but I'm not wasting those juices. I'll use that liquid gold later. On with the vines, and the top on the barbecue. That sweet smoke is gonna give an unreal flavor to the chops. I'm smoking them for half an hour, checking on them every now and then until they're ready. Look at that color. While they're resting, I'm prepping some local cabbages to charm the grill, and I'm making an anchovy butter to dress them after they're cooked. That pork fat from the skillet isn't going to waste. Back on the grill it goes with a splash of Todd's natural reasoning wine and a knob of butter. A super simple, tasty sauce. Juicy, really juicy. Stunning, stunning. Juicy pork, charred cabbage, Riesling sauce and that anchovy butter. Tamworth Tomahawk, Wild Dark Farm, all natural. 
Todd, we ready? Ready. To the house. All right, let's go. It smells amazing. That's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Where's your wine glass? Uh, I'll grab one at the house. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, let's go, man. That's very, very good. It's very juicy pork, yeah? Yeah. You know, I'll eat anchovies on anything, so. <laughs> anchovy butter. Mm. Thank you for today, Dio Corel. Thank you. It was this a pleasure. Amazing. It was an honor. It was a dream come true. Bucket list, boom, ticked off. Yeah, thank you. Well, let's go through all these wines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can do. Mm.